Hey guys, this is Echo Saurix, and you're checking out a mini tutorial course on ADSRSounds.com. In this little mini series, we're going to be checking out some tips and tricks you can do in Massive. It's going to be especially helpful for any deep house or future house producers out there. And I recently just discovered how to actually apply these ideas to sounds. So long story short, I was making a new sound set, Future Deep House, and I wanted to create a way that I could do chord stacks in Massive that weren't just triads. They weren't just using three notes. I wanted to do minor sevenths, major sevenths, maybe an add ninth chord or just something more interesting. So the goal is to be able to play one note on the keyboard and actually have that one note sound like a chord, whether it's a triad, a major, a minor, or a seventh chord. Well, then I wanted to take it a step further, and I wanted to see if I could actually create a key switch of sorts that would allow me to go between or back and forth between minor and major chords because then I could play full progressions with just one note. So this is really helpful to get a cool kind of sound that's, I guess, uh, stereotypical in deep house, future house genres. And it's also going to be really helpful for anyone who's new and maybe they're not very good on the keyboard. They don't have their chops up to speed or even they're feeling uncomfortable programming advanced chords because the music theory knowledge is in there. This will help you because it's actually really easy to do.